So basketball wives, Shawnee O'Neal and VH1 decided to take two weeks off for the holidays to come back with this trash reunion. Girl, do you see Dummy Lamont up on the screen? We got to talk about this. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, Bake with a quick little Joseph, or whatever the case may be. And we got Basketball Wives season 50,555 season finale. And I'm over here saying, why? Why? Why, why? why did y'all bring this? We didn't ask y'all for this. We, I swear, I forgot Basketball Wives was on. I ain't even gonna lie. So somebody said something on Twitter, then I said, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm thinking we gonna have at least a few more episodes left, but no, 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 no. Basketball Wives, along with Shawnee O'Neal, decided that they just they was gonna take two weeks off to give us one episode. Girl, y'all could have wrapped this up before the uh, holidays. Y'all really could have. I promise you that was one or two filler episodes. Y'all could have just wrapped this whole thing up. Not to mention Jennifer's beau, who she's only known for nine months at the time, has logged into her account. Went through her savings and brought her a nine carat engagement ring and he proposed. Yes, he did. I mean, there's nobody on the face of this earth that is going to make me believe that that little, uh, that, that little prisoner can afford a nine carry ring. You know, it's giving super cent in, in, in razor, 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 or super cent in loop. You know, the LA version. That's what it's giving. But we going to get into that. Also, Brittany Renner took Eight episodes to tell us she was leaving. All for her to leave on the very last one. Brittany, girl, I'm going to get to her. And then also, um, what else happened? Oh, Evelyn Lozaya ended up breaking up with her man. She said she just don't know what it is. She just insecure. And that girl, that lady ain't never, she ain't never want him. She ain't never want him. And we all get that. Look, I don't need to make this long. Let's get into this episode because it really wasn't a lot going on. Let's get into it. So now the episode opens up. All the girls are over there getting tennis lessons and Evelyn Lozaya is sitting over there on the bench in deep thought. She says she don't know what's going on. She really want to be with her man, but she don't even like him, you know. So she over there thinking about a lot of things. Now the girls come over there and they was like, well, what's going on, boo? How you doing? And she was like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just over here thinking about, you know, um, my man. She was like, and I don't want him no more. She said, I just was thinking about it, you know. So we growing apart and at this point i think i better let it go looks like another love tko that's what she said to the girls the girls are over there saying well girl why what had happened girl this was a good thing and she said i don't know you know it's just my last relationship i was married in july and divorced by august and I don't mean El Cena, she says. So, you know, at this point, I'm afraid of walking down the aisle. I don't want to just do it just to be like, yeah, I did it or whatever. She said, you know, and I just feel like he doesn't fulfill me. And I'm saying, oh, yeah, I know why he don't fulfill you because he don't bop you on top of your head. I get it. I get it. You know, all right, super. All right. Afro Latina super gotcha bitch I gotcha uh huh so then all the girls was just like well we don't understand Jackie all the girls there Jackie dog on Jennifer and Brooke is like but we like him he's good for you you girls why are y'all telling her this she is a glutton for punishment she is uh Erica Erica Mina's big sister. They don't want love and happiness. They don't want no Al Green love and happiness. They want to be bopped, okay? Stop trying to sit there and make heads or tails of this. Let's move on. So now in a little short clips, Jaseel got her product in so she could put it up in the store. And then on the flip side, we got 
a van. Vanessa over there with her sister looking at a basketball court that her husband don't want. Girl, if, if, if anybody ever seen somebody chasing a dream that they think is for somebody else and a person running from the dream, yeah, that's Vanessa and her husband. She want to give this man this dream and he thinks it's a nightmare. But for some odd reason, it's not calculating the way it's supposed to calculate. But we'll get there. Let's move on. So now we move to the next scene. Uh, Jennifer's valet called uh, Brooke and Evelyn Lozaya down to the ball so that he can let them know that he has a surprise for Jennifer and he wants them to rally up all the girls so they can come down to the surprise. So here he come walking in, probably just parked Jennifer's car and gave the valet her money and her keys. You know how they go. You know these niggas don't be having nothing but whatever. Anyway, so he comes in and was like, hey, how y'all ladies doing? Doing. Um, I'm so glad you guys could make it. He said, I really had something important to talk to you about. So boom, he sits down with them and he said, you know, Jennifer is the one. Yes, she is. He says she's the one. She's the one for me. No SWV. And I'm ready to move forward. He said he got a ring. He want to propose. He need them to get all the holes together. He said he got a nine carat ring. And look at him. Ooh, she's going to love that. Of course she is. She picked it out, bitch. Come on now. This is the West Coast Super in Lou. Super in Razor, Razor, Razor. Come on now. Y'all got to stop with all of this and be strong now. Nah? Anyway, so he's telling them all these things and how, you know, he's been in a relationship before. He said, and in the past, he had ended up going to prison. Not jail, bitch. Not a detention center, ho. Prison, he said, for his first offense. And I'm sitting here saying, nigga, I know you lying to me. This nigga said he went to prison. He said him and his ex had got into it. He never touched her. All he did was tell her to leave. And all of a sudden the judge was hating on him. So they just put him in prison. Not jail, bitch. This is real. Prison. First offense and all, the judge just locked him up in prison. And I said, nigga, you must think I'm boo-boo the fool. Nigga, what? I, come on now. Come on now. Now I know he a pathological liar and a scammer. I'm looking like Evelyn Lozaya. Nigga, what? Evelyn said, so hold up. Let me get this straight. You telling me you had never been in trouble before? Because come on now, we got to make this type of stuff make sense. We can't just be going around saying whatever it is we want to say. Because we got to make sure we protect my girl. You know, my girl a little slow. She a little throw it off. She make really bad decisions in men's. We need to make sure you is for real and you not around here trying to take her money. So this nigga was like, oh, yeah, well, I did get in trouble, you know. But it was something small. It was something small. Nigga, you lied. You lied to our face and can't be trusted. And I know if you lied that fast to uh, Evelyn Lozaya and the rest of the world, there has not been an ounce of truth that has left them pink lips since you walked up on Jennifer. And she's so slow and stupid and slithery and dumb. She don't even realize she being played for a fool. Girl, you can't make this shit up. This nigga is an ex-con, felon, and a liar. That's a three-strike-you-out type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, girl. Y'all, listen. Are we, are we, what are we doing? What, we, what, what are we doing? Why are we entered into the group chat to watch this girl go down the same road she been down? Girl, he's talking about it's been nine months. It's been the best nine months. Girl, what? Bitch, a baby done been in the belly longer than y'all been together. And now y'all get, now you want to propose? Girl, get this light-skinned felon off of here. So now them old hoes got down to Texas, down to Houston. And Evelyn Lozaya, if she don't do nothing, she gonna still be cool with her ex-boyfriends and husbands and, and baby daddies and all of that. So she stopped by uh that boy's uh, store. What's his name? He got a restaurant. Bitch, the one who was over 5150. What's the name of the 510501? Megan the Stallion and them. Girl, it don't even matter. So they sitting down and Evelyn telling them, oh, yeah, um, you know, me, oh, Carl Crawford, that's his name. But she was like, yeah, me and Carl is really cool. We have the best, you know, a relationship. And as soon as Jackie asked him, was they going to get back together, Carl said, let me get the hell up out of here. Now, listen, do I believe he might be able to still stick it in over there by Evelyn? Yes. And no wonder, look, that, look, sir, whoever her boyfriend name was, the man she she left at the end of this episode, don't feel bad, fat, you dodged a bullet. 
She like dodging bullets, so you dodge the bullet too. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel bad. She is a slut from the 90s and a whore for the streets. You did your big one on that. Even her ex-baby daddy don't want her, allegedly. Girl, get, get all these people off of here. So now Van, Vanessa gets the call from the realtor that they accepted the offer for her, from her on the um, gym and she's excited. But I'm saying, but your, girl, your man don't even want to be in L.A. Why is you trying to build a gym in L.A. when your man don't? Girl, this whole slow as a turtle. Get off of here. And then, oh, um, Jaseel calls Brooke to tell Brooke that she spoke to Brittany and Brittany said she up out of this bitch. She said, y'all hoes tied and through and lame and old and y'all hoes mean girls. So she said, fuck all y'all. And she out. And, um, yeah, she just wanted me to come back and tell y'all. And Brooke was like, I can't believe she said that. We've been nothing but kind to Britney, girl. Y'all were wicked witches of the West. Let's move on. So now moving on, they go to dinner to see this stiff face whore. Yes, Shawnee O'Neal. Don't like her. Don't like nothing about her. Don't like the way the size of her nose, the nostrils you can see on the inside. I don't like her. But anyway, they go sit down with uh, Shawnee and meet up for dinner. And Shawnee inviting them all out to dinner. I mean, it's a church. It's a church, yeah. And then Brooke tell them that Brittany says she out of this bitch because y'all some old ragged ass hoes. And she don't want to be around y'all hoes. Bitch, y'all gave her worms. She don't want to come back. Like, it just is what it is. And y'all hoes going to have to take it how y'all want to take it. And it is what it is. He lets them know Brittany said there was some mean old whores. And she don't want no parts of it. She don't fit in. So she done cared her little bitty ass back down to North Kakalaki. That's what Brooke told them that Brittany said, okay? And look at Evelyn. I can't believe she said that. We've been nothing but nice to her. I wanted to try to build a foundation with Brittany. Now I'm questioning everything that ever happened between me and Brittany. Girl, Brittany done told you 69,000 ways from Sunday that y'all some old mean ass hoes. What the girl, what else the girl gotta do? Please, somebody enlighten me. Girl, y'all hoes is blinding through, girl. I can't. It's just ridiculous. And look at Jackie. Oh, I feel so bad for Brittany. We were building a bond. I had her on my show that nobody watches. We were doing well. I can't believe Brittany would do this to us. Why would she do that? You know, I love a good sisterhood. Jackie, go lay down. Please, Jackie, go lay down. Girl, the, the girl don't want to be friends with y'all old ass hoes. Girl, go lay down, Jackie. Now, back at the table, Shawnee was like, well, girl, <laughs> that whole where she want to be. <laughs> no Donnell Jones. Girl, what is y'all saying? Why is y'all stressing? Let the whole go. If she want roll, let her roll. Like, what is y'all talking about? She said, but anyway, yeah, come to church tomorrow. My husband going to be preaching or whatever. Make sure y'all bring y'all wallets, y'all checkbooks, and your debit cards. We got an ATM machine out front. The checkbooks, we got a uh, bank in the back. If y'all want to write a check, she said, in your wallets, because we know that whole boat, the bank card, and the checkbook. So bring all of that. Come on down for a good word. It's going to be a good time. Y'all pull up, pull over, and pop out. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, that's basically what happened. And, you know. Evelyn wants to talk to her husband anyway because she says she needs to find out what's wrong with her, why she don't like her man. Girl, um, Shawnee, now you know it was rumored that she had smashed Shaq. You better be in there with the bitch. Don't trust her. She on a prowl. Single again. You get it? Anywho, moving forward. So now it's the day of the meeting with Shawnee. And just like I said, she there to make sure her husband don't be looking crazy. You know, so she sits down with uh, Evelyn, and her husband. And Evelyn was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. He's such a good guy. And both of them said he is a wonderful man. He's a good man, Savannah. He's a good, good, good man. And she over there saying, and I know I just don't understand why I don't like this man. We done spent some time apart. And I'm thinking it's going to pull us closer together, child. I'm running the opposite way. What is going on, Pastor? Can you fix me? Can you say a prayer on top of my head? Can you do something, Pastor? And he said, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, Pat. He said, you don't deserve, no, he don't deserve to be hurt by you. That's what it is. You don't want to be with nobody, Pat. You just an old whore, you know, and that's what old whores do. So let him go, you know, uh, give him free and then move on, you know. And she was like, you know. This man really explained my situation really good. Now I feel confident to go back there to L.A. and tell that nigga fly from Atlanta all the way to the West Coast so I could break up with his little light bulb head ass. And I see, oh, 
Evelyn, you a dirty bitch. You a girl. You a dirty bitch. Do you hear me, Evelyn? That's why your life the way it is. Uh huh. You a dirty bitch. You are a dirty girl. Get her off of here. So now Jaseel FaceTimes her fiance to tell Natasha Howard, her fiance, hey boo, we done finally made it in the stores. And her boo said, I'm so happy for you. All right, let's move on. Now at the back of the church, you know, it ain't like old school. This is a different type of church. You know, this church is like a resort. So uh, Shawnee goes pick up the girls and while they back there, um, Evelyn tells them, well, she really tell Jackie that she needed to be at the wedding for uh, Jennifer girl, the, the, the engagement. Anyways, look. So they sit in the church and the church begins to start. Now they got front row seats because, you know, the big payers, they sit up front. You know, the ballers, the people who put the most money in, they sit up front. So they got Evelyn and all her friends up front as this man get up there and tell all of them hoes in the church house, you suffering, I know it. And it's going to work out. You know, that's, that's the gist of the sermon. You know, you going through some things, but trials and tribulations are for the everybody and they not for the weak. So if you going through trials and tribulations, things are going to work out in your favor. Just go ahead on, give it to God and give your wallet to me. That's what I got from it. I, I mean, it's a, such a general preaching that anybody can receive it. Evelyn in the crowd. Oh, it's, it's, it fits me. Girl, bye. And sir, pass the key on. Ain't that what they called you? Pass the key on. Key on. You sitting up there on top of the pulpit looking like you on your way to a 4th of July picnic, nigga. And you're up there taking all them people money. Look, everybody all at the sound of my voice know how I can't stand preachers. Y'all know how they roll. But he gonna sit his ass up there prosperity preaching all of the eels and wills to the people down at the church. And they up there clapping and opening their they wallets and their purses. And he over there cashing checks and going cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Offer him to tell you, look, trial's going to come and it's got purpose. Just don't worry about it. Give me your money. That's what I got from it. Girl, y'all is crazy. Y'all still running down to these people at these churches, girl. Why they tell y'all anything they want to tell y'all? I ain't seen the Bible. I ain't seen the choir. Girl, I didn't see nothing but him, a microphone, and a lie. Girl, y'all got to be strong. This is this is insanity at this point. Girl, y'all let this man get up here and play y'all things like that. And I know y'all had the tide. I know you did. Because he looks like the type of Negro that if you're going to sit up front, you got to be a heavy hitter. You know what I'm saying? Girl, Shawnee ain't want y'all down there to get no word. She needed a donation. Girl, this is ridiculous. I can't stand black people sometimes. Get them off of here. Now, look at dumb Dora. Dumb Dora FaceTime her husband to tell her husband that they done accepted her offer on the, the gym. And she's so excited to expand down to the L.A. streets. And she knows that this is going to be great for him. And look at him looking at her. Bitch, he said, mm. She said, you not excited? He said, well, you closed, girl. I didn't ask you to go do that, girl. I don't even want to move to L.A. So I guess you'll have fun in L.A. I see you, bitch, whenever you fly back. And this whole sitting over there looking perplexed. She don't understand what's the problem. Well, I don't understand. The nigga been hollering from every mountain and rooftop. He don't want no gym in L.A. And this lady been running her duck ass down there to get this doggone gym going. And here we are. Girl, tell me why he done hung up in that whole face. Girl, I'm about to hang up in that whole face too. Get her off of here. So now Evelyn had that man use his frequent flyer miles to come his ass all the way to L.A. on camera so she could break up with him. So she sits down and say, you know, we've been apart and I thought it was going to help us grow. You helped me out with my little event. Everything was good, but it ain't going to work out, Fed. I think it's time for us to move around. And look at the man. Poor man. Sir, I know somebody. Please hit me in my Gmail, Voodoo Doll TV. No, Voodoo Doll Podcast at gmail.com. I know a bitch who way better than Evelyn Lozaya to help her been ran through anyway. You don't want her? And he sat there and tried to take in his stride. Talking about, let me go get my flight. I'm going to leave. Man, you should have bopped that whore upside the head. She probably would have fell in love. Girl, what are we doing? That's, you know, Evelyn ain't shit, sir. And at this point, I don't know if you just blinded by the almond milk or you really love this heifer. But either way, let it go, fat. 
She ain't for your fat. She for the streets. Leave her back to the avenue, okay? I promise you it's going to work out good for you. It's going to work out fine. Yeah, you should have went to church with her when the man said trials and tribulations going to come, but it's going to work out fine. It's going to work out fine, fat. Go ahead and get out of here. So now here we go. He done got somebody's rooftop, bought some roses. Had a nigga playing a guitar that go on the shoulders. I know it's a violin. Just go with it. You know what I'm saying? And they over there at the rooftop. And she's saying, oh, my God, you're always so full of surprises. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. I love you so much. And then he looks at her and said, well, how's the movie? Bitch, he trying to check out the money. When do you sign the paperwork? He trying to go walk down the aisle before you sign the paperwork. So it's community property, duck asshole. So he said, well, yeah, how's the movie? She said, the movie is so great. You know, and he was like, well, I just have another surprise for you. Get your big tall ass up and come walk downstairs with me. So anyways, he bring her downstairs with the blindfold on. All the people is downstairs. All her friends and family is waiting on her to come out of the blindfold so we could see what's going on. Right. Then boom, blindfold comes off. He's on one knee saying, I love you for the last nine months. It's been everything in my world. I didn't know I didn't need nobody until I met you and you started taking care of all my bills and buying me cars and stuff. So please, Lord, will you marry me, bitch? And she went to patting her face like her tears was coming down her eyes like she didn't order the ring herself because that nigga ain't got no credit and probably on the run from the judge and the police. She said yes. And then they kissed and everybody was like, oh, my God. And let me tell you something, black people. Y'all part of the problem. Y'all know that nigga. He ain't no good for her. Look at everybody. Everybody behind them laughing and, and clapping. Oh my God, it's just going to be so amazing. I'm so happy for her. Black women just won't be married to anybody, girl. Y'all is crazy. But I know who ain't crazy. Check it out. Bitch, Evelyn Lozaya, daughter, Shawnice, sipped that champagne and looked over the top of that glass like this one of the dumbest hoes Martin Luther King died for. But don't worry about it. If I want him, I'll go get him. Girl, Shawnice, you the only one at the whole party got sense, girl. Shawnice looking at that hole over the side of her eye like, girl, please. Get Jennifer up here, matter of fact. Now you see you, bitch. See, you is the type of bitch I be talking about. You around here flashing that ring that you bought all to us, thinking you really done found you something good. You don't know that fat meat is greasy. Even if they put your ass in the meat grinder, you wouldn't know fat meat was greasy. Girl, you is slow. Thank God you're pretty because you're slow. You're slow. Girl, what is wrong with you? Now you sitting up here with the hand now. I seen on the um on the reunion, you telling uh what's the other girl, the wicked witch of the West talking about? I'm a fiance. I'm a fiance. I'm convinced a lot of these bitches only want to be married for the title. Girl, if you wanted a title, join UFC. What are we doing? Girl, Jennifer bitch, I don't want listen. I ain't going to hold bad on your fat because I feel like it's already inevitable. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But Jennifer, let me just say this. I hope to pray that I'm never desperate when I get your age, bitch. I hope I'm never so desperate to where I would do what you doing right now. You done took a L for black women. You done took a L for 2024. If you ask me, they should have did this shit down there in 2023. That way we didn't have to take it into 2024. But anyways, you took a L for everybody. Um, I know you used to taking L's, but I'm not. So for this Jennifer bitch, I hope that middle finger, not the middle finger, the ring finger. I hope that bitch curl up like a witch. Do you hear me? Get her off of here. Meanwhile, Jackie over there FaceTiming Vanessa, telling Vanessa that uh her man got married. No, not her man. Oh, Jennifer is getting engaged. She done got engaged. And I'm over here saying, Vanessa, please go do another background check on this nigga so we can see what's going on. This nigga is a pathological liar. Something's got to be going on. I know Vanessa can find out what's tea, girl. Please, Vanessa, go find out what's going on. Your man ain't with you. So then she was like, yeah, speaking of my man not being with me, I had closed on a little building out in L.A. She said, and my man hung up in my face. And I'm sitting here saying, bitch, you could use this time being a P.I. for a whole lot of women. Instead, you utilize time to be played on. And at this point, I don't want to see it or hear it or find it. Get off of here, please.
And this here was the final uh, scene. I thought I was watching Waiting to Exhale. I thought they was going to jump up in the air and they was going to say, Count on me to thick and thin a friendship that will never end. That's what I thought what was going to happen, but that ain't what happened. Brooke back with her nigga, who cares? Uh, Jennifer getting married, who cares? Jackie still jacking, who cares? Evelyn Lozai and I broke up with that nigga, who cares? Basically, the whole group is a whole group of who cares. You know, uh, 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 the only one we gonna say we care about is Jocelyn. She done got her stuff in the store. It's one store, but it's a store fact. Um, other than that, girl, we don't care. That was the end of the doggone episode, girl. The reunion looked like it's gonna be good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm hoping it is because at this point, throw the whole season away. They better get the swinging and fighting. It look like Jackie and Brooke or Jackie and, um, and Evelyn gonna be battling each other. I need a fight or something. This is ridiculous. Anyway, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this crap. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on all my platforms. That's it. I'll see y'all who's later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.